All right, we're going to jump right into this hand review of this bomb pot that I played at the win for one of my previous vlogs. I have the button with King 10 off. I do make the call. Everybody was just betting $5. Person roughly in big blind basically raises it up to $65 here. And I do put in the call. So pot is now building. Turn comes the queen of diamonds, though I do end up turning the nut straight here looking pretty good i mean bomb pot and we're playing very very deep roughly 1500 to 2000 dollars deep here they ended up putting out a very small wager of 100 dollars into 360 so this is roughly a 30 percent bet here and i do take a quick peek just to make sure hey do i have a straight yes i do have a straight this is really happening and I decide to bump up the stakes here, of course, raising it up to $375. They pretty much snap call. And then we go to the river. I'm basically hoping for a blank here. Don't ever want to see it pair in a bomb pot, of course, for boats. And it comes the six of clubs. My opponent ends up checking. And once again, right now at this point, we only have roughly $1,400 behind, $1,400, $1,500. So I do announce to the dealer that I'm so on Jamam moment. I am all in. And then now my opponent goes into the tank and they actually do flip over and show me aces. And we're taking a look at this because I did call this person a knit, a very tight player for their fold with aces. A lot of people in the comments said that it was the right fold. So let's go straight to the sim to see, can you ever fold aces, ladies and gentlemen? And this is one of the solvers I use ruse. I also use PO solver as well. Let's just jump straight into the results for it. So we do have the flop here, as you can see in the top left corner, ace of diamonds, jack of clubs, nine of spades. We are roughly 230 big blind steep, which is the same thing we was at the table, like 210, 220 roughly. Um, so here my opponent does check and for the sake of the sim being a bomb pot, I did give both of us 100% of hands. That's how it is in a bomb pot. You have 100% of your hands, right? So same thing here. They have 100% of their hands. I have 100% of my hands. They have a lot of checks here. As we can see, they're checking a lot as they did. It does turn to me now. And now I have a lot of small bets, as you can see here, 30%. And I'm just putting myself at a 30% bet. Obviously, this is a heads up sim and not a bomb pot sim, right? We don't have any multi-way sims out there for bomb pots. So yeah, just I did just put that I made a small wager, 30% here, I bet, which would be my usual small stab size anyway, when I'm playing live or online. And they do have raises here. And notice that let's just focus on their specific hand. They're just pretty much supposed to be always raising aces. I mean, you just got to raise aces, start getting that them chips in the middle i mean you want to build the pot up right so they raised here to 14 roughly the same size that they did they actually did a smaller raise size by the way they went um we all bet five dollars they made a 65 in a pot of 180 so just so you're aware they raised smaller but i did give them a normal raise size for the sake of this and in position i'm going to be calling a lot 68 percent of the time we call the turn actually comes the queen of diamonds. So here I did give them two sizes. They have a 30% size. So the small wager they made on the flop pretty much with their check raise and also a pot size. Those are just two sizes. I figured any live average player would probably use small bad pot, right? I mean, they just always pot and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's actually see what they're going to be doing with aces. So notice here with aces, they actually do a lot of small betting. You're not really worried about much going into the river. Um, yeah, diamonds are coming in. Yeah, the straight draws coming in. But once again, you're just not worried about much. Like you have aces, you, you're fine. Not much to worry about. Um, so they do bet small, and that's actually what they're supposed to be doing or checking, because obviously, you know, a lot of things can happen, and I can't already have a straight, right? And other reasons too as well. Um, so they do bet the small wager of the thirty percent, and in position, I start to have raises which people kept saying, oh my God, you don't have these raises, blah, 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 never a bluff. Yeah, BS, I definitely have raises. I don't think I'm gonna have all the raises they're gonna say here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna have all the raises, but I am gonna have some bluffs, right? 
Um, uh, can't just always raise when you have it. Like I don't I like you know, I don't know if anybody's seen me play online before, but I just don't always have it. Like this is you know, yeah, that's not how it works. Um, uh, but anyway, do start to have raises, obviously pocket aces, but I don't have aces, they have aces, right? So I do have pocket queens, I have jacks and nines, and I do have these sets because like I said, when they was calling a five dollars and I had button in position. There's no reason for me to bump up the pop with my sets. I just don't I don't need to. Now you don't have to play like that, but I'm just saying how I would have played that portion of my range. I would have just called, try to have somebody catch up on the turn and then start building up the pot there. You know, because if the turn comes a blank or it just comes a hand, maybe somebody else hits a set. Everybody put in five dollars. You never know it could be set over set, somebody gets in something, right? So yeah, I have pocket nines. I have nine eight suited. That is a pure bluff. Ten eight is obviously a straight. Jack eight suited. Bluff. Jack nine suited at some frequency with two pair, but you, you're pretty much splitting that between the two jack nine suited. I have king nine suited. King eight suited. So there's a lot of hands here, as you see, that I have as bluffs. Jack 10 off, which I really love the jack 10 off. Like the jack 10 off and the jack 10 suited are stuff that I would actually find. Um and what else like the jack eight suited not really the jack eight suited maybe like the nine eight suited but mainly these 10 x's as well that i really don't have that much of in this line but like basically with these 10 x's being here if these weren't here they would actually start to up you know the bluffs more and more portions on my range to find some more balance that's just kind of how poker works but obviously i don't have all of these but yeah notice that it has the 10 7 and the king nine king jack you know like hands like this so let's say we do raise and that's basically what i did so see i do have you know really good hands and i have bluffs so we raise and they're going to call aces they don't do much three bet jamming here they're just going to call aces a lot of the time and they do put in the call and if ever comes a complete blank brick city the six of clubs and notice they don't really do much donk in here. They can donk, but with we're once again we're looking at aces and we see, yeah, they just check. So they check aces, and now this is when we have our Man moment of going all in. And everybody said here in the video that, oh my gosh, I never jam sets. But yeah, I I I look, I jam sets. Like I just jammed jacks and I was saying that I would jam this and some people didn't believe me. I do not know why. Like I'm always going to jam a set. When I talked to another reg at the table, they agreed. Like I have other sets. I have sets of jacks and sets of nines and I'm going to pure jam the river every single time. I'm not just going to check back. I have queens as well. King 10 suit is obviously nuts. King 10 off is the nuts. But you see, he does beat this portion of my range. He beats queens. He beats jacks and he beats nines. That's nine combos that I have there that he just destroys with aces every single time. And now we have the 10 eight suited, the 10 eight off. Obviously, those are just the nuts. But let's look at the bluffs. Nine eight suited starts to find a bluff here with just one combo. But honestly, when you start taking out these other hands that I really don't, I don't really get to the river with these hands. <clears throat> when you start taking these out, I will start bluffing you know some hands here more so the 9 8 suited i would probably bluff more um the 10 7 off you can definitely find a bluff with your 10x like i would just pure bluff every 10 7 off that i have from the flop to the turn to the river and i do have 10 7 off jack 8 off can turn it into a bluff as well jack 10 off once again just anything with a 10x you can just literally just turn into a bluff and like i said since i don't have these 10x suited i'm going to start jamming these other middle lane, you know, 10 off suits and 10 suited, like Jackson suit. I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna jam these a lot. You know, I'm just gonna start jamming these a lot to have bluffs, but notice that I'm not going to do it every single time. Like Jack 10 suited here is like one and a half combos of jamming instead of three. So maybe it'll bump up to two. It's not just gonna bump up to 100%, because once again, you have to be balanced. We have Queen H suited, just pure turning its hand into a bluff. Now, once again, I'm not going to find all of these bluffs, ladies and gentlemen, but I am going to be able to find some of them. I'm a very competent player. I'm not an idiot playing poker. Like, I'm not your average 2-5 player, you know? I'm going to find these bluffs, and I'm going to find these jams with my sets. So let's keep that in mind.
ladies and gentlemen. And now let's see what happens after I do finally go all in and they just pure call aces every single time. It's the top part of your range. They are supposed to call some hands like ace 10 and all of that stuff, blocking straights, but obviously they're not going to be doing that. They're not going to make it to the river with these hands, probably a live 2 5 player. Um, but yeah, they're just supposed to snap call aces. Like it's a pure snap. And let's also look at the EV. Um, if you look at the EV here with aces, you're just losing EV by not calling. You're losing chips in the long run by not calling aces because once again, I have bluffs and I also have sets that you completely destroy and dominate that I am going to jam because I'm not freaking checking back a set. Like, come on now. I'm fucking, I'm going all in. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to polarize my range. And I also even have top two pair that I can still jam at some frequency. I don't think I would pure jam that, but I can still jam that at some frequency as well. So yeah, just by folding aces here, it is a pure punt. There is nothing else to see here. It's a pure punt. You're in it if you fold aces. Doesn't matter if it's a bomb pot. You cannot fold top set. And also one last thing I wanted to add is that once... I see this player fold aces. Now, when we ran this sim and talked about this, I had no idea who this player was, so we just kept everything honest, right? But now that I see that this opponent would fold a set of aces, now all of those hands that were sometimes bluffs and it's like iffy, 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 now I just pure bluff everything because my opponent is a nit. And that's how poker works. Everything like shifts. It's so amazing. Like your ranges and everything shifts depending on what opponents you're playing. Like it makes such a big difference. So now I just get to bluff more because my opponent isn't it and they're never going to call. They're never going to call. And please let me know how you felt about that review and your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure you check out this video here where I play 2550 poker at the lodge with Doug Polk and company.